So you're thinking about moving to Boise, Idaho from California. Well, you are certainly not alone. Today, we are going to share 13 things that surprised a former Californian family to learn once they landed here in Idaho and thus began their new adventure in life as Idahoans. This fabulous little family now has been here for about five years and they couldn't be happier. They loved it so much that pretty much as soon as they arrived, the majority of their extended family also found themselves moving up to the gem state. Wait, we're coming to and they certainly didn't move here on a whim. They spent a couple of years researching everything they could about what it was like to live, work, play, raise a family, just pretty much do all the things in the Boise area. Actually, I once teased Nikki, the mother and now one of my closest friends, that she arrived knowing more about the area than I knew, and I'd already been living here for about a decade when they first arrived. So when she told me that there was a surprisingly large number of things that really surprised them to discover once they'd moved in and adjusted, I thought, heck, I should make a video and share it with you. So let's break these down. Hey there, I'm Marcy Ellison, a local real estate agent here in the Boise, Idaho area. And if this is your first time visiting our channel and you're looking to learn more about Idaho and you just wanna know really everything there is to know about what it's like living here, then this channel is for you. Our goal is to put together on the ground videos that, well, that would have really helped us 15 years ago when we were first contemplating moving here. We post videos every single week featuring on the ground tours throughout Boise and the surrounding Treasure Valley. So to be sure you don't miss out on any of those, please take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Number one. So first on Nikki's, let's call it surprise. This is Idaho list. And I quote, traffic is awful in California. Idaho traffic is a joke. So if you've been watching my channel for a beat, you know that I often talk about, okay, sometimes I full out complain about how much busier traffic has become over the past several years. But well, in my defense, I do always say that it is subjective and totally dependent on where you're coming from and thus what you're comparing it to. So for Nikki's family, they're obviously comparing it to where they moved from in California. Our version of bad in comparison is a piece of cake in their eyes. So yeah, we'll take that. Next up, in this one, I'm just going to quote Nikki directly. Nikki said, California protects their criminals and Idaho protects the people. While I have never lived in California, so I don't have firsthand experience of what it must feel like, I have definitely heard this sentiment voiced by a large number of former Californians. It's certainly a strong opinion that leaves, for myself anyhow, a lingering just kind of eek vibe. This born and raised small town girl, well, that just sounds pretty darn terrible. It's not for me. One thing I absolutely love and value about living in the Boise, Idaho area is both how safe it is, as well as how respected our police force is. I really have friends who live all over the country and over the past several years, the anti-police sentiments and just negative vibes that many have experienced in their cities has thankfully not been a case here in our local area. Idaho is among the safest states in the nation and that's something that we don't take lightly or for granted. Now let's move on to surprise number three. Let's talk about housing prices. While Idaho home prices have certainly increased since Nikki's family arrived, and especially over the past several years, in comparison to California's prices, which have also increased, Idaho is still, compared to California, a much easier place to afford a nice home. Of course, this is all relative, but again, in this video, we are comparing it specifically to California. And yeah, in comparison to California, home prices in Idaho are more affordable. Next up, and I'm just going to quote Nikki directly on this one too, watering your lawn in California requires paying by the gallon. Irrigation water in Idaho is sent from Jesus. <laughs> Holy water fees. Feeling very, very grateful that living in the Boise, Idaho area means we get irrigation water. While Boise is obviously a very dry area, we have three dams built up the river above the Boise area, and they all help to keep our water supply well maintained and managed. Even with those reservoirs though, droughts can indeed be a problem. So again, that's something that is very carefully monitored and we appreciate that. So like Nikki said, thank you Jesus for irrigation water. Paying per gallon would indeed add up. We currently live on a third of an acre and we have an above ground swimming pool, we call it our hillbilly pool, and then a front and a backyard. But my goodness, that would add up quite quickly if we were paying per gallon. So yes, thankfully our irrigation water certainly helps our pocketbook. Next shocker for former Californians turned Idahoans, electricity costs. Power bills across California are significantly higher than what we pay here in the Treasure Valley. Electricity bills can of course vary between states due to factors such as energy sources, infrastructure costs, regulations, and demand. And California definitely relies more on renewable energy sources than what we do here in Idaho. 
And then California's larger population, thus higher demand for electricity, also likely, likely contributes to that higher cost. In Idaho, on the other hand, we have lower electricity bills due to our different energy generation mix and comparatively lower population density. I'm also guessing that since we have four seasons here in Idaho, and so we don't need or use full on AC for nearly as long as many who live in some areas in California probably do. Yeah, I would guess that would probably play, pay a role. <laughs> Play a role. Play. That's what I meant to say. Play a role. Now, let's move on to shocker number six. Apparently, in the Boise, Idaho area, our car registration cost is a fourth of the price that they pay in California. So that's cool. Longtime Idaho locals have lately been complaining about the uptick we've seen in registration fees. So I suppose similar to when we complain about traffic, it's all relative, right? One thing is for sure, though, this day and age, every single dollar counts, right? So another 10 points to Idaho. We are winning in this fight. Now that we're talking about utilities and the cost of living, let's talk about homeowners insurance and property taxes. Apparently, both of these in Idaho are half of what you would expect to pay in California. Homeowners insurance in California is typically more expensive in areas prone to natural disasters like wildfires, earthquakes, and floods, because obviously those increase the risk of property damage. The high demand for insurance coverage in these areas also contributes to higher premiums. Additionally, construction costs, regulations, and the cost of living in California California can also impact insurance rates. It's a combination of those factors that contribute to the overall expense of homeowners insurance for Californians. So another 10 points for Idaho, right? We're gonna win. Now on to surprise number eight, and I will just read this one. Nikki wrote, people are infinitely friendlier in the Boise area. They treat you like family. If we had a dollar for every time someone had shared this sentiment with us, we'd cha-ching, cha-ching. Well, we'd buy a second house and it would be an eagle. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, more often than not, though, the friendly nature of our city can sometimes throw newcomers for just kind of a loop. It's sort of like, eh, why are you being so nice to me? What do you want? But once people realize it's genuine and just truly the way of the land, they typically find themselves sort of sighing in relief and settling right in. And that's a pretty awesome thing to both hear about and watch and experience firsthand. Next up, holy gas prices. Apparently gas prices in California are consistently at least a dollar more per gallon than they are here in the Boise area. So I had to look this one up. As of today, so in the beginning of September, 2023, gas prices in California are $5.37. Gas prices in our local Boise area, the average price right now is $3.99. So yeah, that's certainly a pretty significant difference. Yikes. Sorry, Californians. You give me some gas money? The next big surprise, sales tax. While some complain here in Idaho about the 6% sales tax we have, in California, the sales tax is 7.25%. California's rate is made up of a base rate of 6%, plus California adds a mandatory local rate of 1.25% that goes directly to city and county tax officials. And then depending on local sales tax jurisdictions, the total sales tax can be as high as 10.25%. for the sales tax! <laughs> So yeah, that would definitely add up. And hmm, maybe I should stop complaining about the 6% tacked onto my Costco receipt. Eh? But again, really is all relative. <laughs> now, let's cover surprise number 11 on our surprise, this is Idaho list. Let's talk about parks. The quality of our parks here in the Treasure Valley and just how well they are maintained was definitely a welcome surprise for our wonderful friends. Not only are our parks well kept and clean, but they are safe. When I first had my oldest son who, wow, he's now ee, a sixth grader. Where does the time go? Anyhow, back when I was in, um, well, when, when he was a newborn up until he was about three, I was in a great mom's group. And one spring and early summer, we went on what we called a tour de park, which basically meant we met up every few days at a different park across the valley. The sheer number of fantastic parks across Boise, Meridian, Eagle, and really the, the entire Treasure Valley is pretty darn special and definitely something as locals that we sometimes I think take for granted. So a big thank you to our wonderful city parks and rec teams. We see you and we appreciate you. Now, on to surprise number 12. As I noted earlier, here in Idaho, we have four seasons. And while our friends knew before moving here um, that we talked a pretty big game about our four seasons, they were thrilled to discover that it wasn't all talk. So if you were living in a California city with a typical two-season California climate, so a wet season and a dry season, 
you might find living in Boise to be a bit of fresh air. The city is no stranger to hot summers, cold winters, gorgeous falls, and chipper blooming springs. Idaho and Boise does just all four seasons in glory. That said, we also have known people who've moved here from California only to find rather quickly that e winters are not for them and they end up fleeing back to California. And you know, we are fine with that too, to each their own. What's the matter, you guys cold? And now surprise number 13, and I will just read this one directly. You can carry without a permit. I think I just got water gun texted by my friend Nikki, but anyhow. <laughs> so yep, open carry is legal here in Idaho and a concealed weapons license is not required to open carry, nor is it required for long guns concealed or not. And this is something that can completely throw people. Being at jump time with your kids or grabbing lunch at Gramercy Park or cruising through the produce aisle at Trader Joe's, in all of these places, you could potentially see someone with a gun right on their hip. And that might not be something that you like. Now, is the average resident walking around with a gun attached to their hip? Certainly not. But would it be safe to assume that there would be people around you while you're checking out at Bymart or Fred Meyer that are caring? I'd say definitely. I hope you found this video helpful. My husband Andy and I receive phone calls, texts, emails from people just like you every single day. People who are really just looking to wrap their head around what it's like to call the Boise, Idaho area home. If you would like to set up a Zoom call or just begin a conversation so we can talk about your unique situation and assess what might be a good fit for you, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us a text 208-598-3040. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.